let's uh, self-isolate. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe with notifications on. These are my social media handles and all the links are down below in the description box. It's weird, isn't it? Like, being, just having to stay inside. I know it's, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do. It, we need to do it. It's important. Um, but it's just trying to fill that time, you know. At least we've got each other. You know, it's, it'd be very lucky to have one another in this situation. Get a sort of spend time together and indulge in one another's company, which is really nice. I quite like doing that with you. There's no one else I'd rather do it with. So thanks for joining me. But yeah, I mean, I've had a few ideas on what we could do over these next few weeks to pass the time. Uh, obviously drink a lot of tea that's that's a that's a given we'll drink tea we'll drink coffee we'll drink other things but there's a lot of activities that you can do in a day uh like i've put together a few things we could do right now uh what is this playing cards i got these uh playing cards Germany. I mean, let's get them all out. There's more. Oh, there's, there's heaps in there. There's about 52 cards. So these are the jokers. The cool thing about these cards, let's put the German flag on the back, and on the on the cards themselves, it's got a little German phrase. If you can see, so you can. You can learn German. Isn't that perfect? So, is breakfast included? Ist das Frühstück inklusive? Inclusive, I think. Ist das Frühstück inclusive? Like German. Try another one. Try another one. Guten Nacht. Ah, that's good night. What's this one? Guten Abend. Good evening. Lecker. That's delicious. Lecker. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Play cards. I'm sure there's shithead, yeah, we play shithead. Snap, 25, gin rummy. What card games? Ace, yeah. Ourselves and presents. Presents and ourselves, yeah. Scum. There's plenty of ideas. Cards are probably one of the most versatile. Toys? I guess they're a toy. I don't know. They pass the time at least. Eh? But yeah. We play cards. I'll put them on the back burner. I'll put them on the I'll I'll put them on the back burner. I'll put these back in. struggling to put them back. There we go. Good. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we've got Uno. You, you know we've got Uno. Yeah. Where is it? Where, we had Uno around here somewhere. So, ah, here it is. What was this? The Pokemon Uno, remember? So, um, I think it's also Dose. Is it Dose? We're now we're learning Spanish. <laughs> yeah, we've got this Pokemon Uno. Have you ever played those? Nah, neither. It's like, someone was trying to explain to me the other day that they said it's not as good as Uno. Oh, I'm, I'm probably the worst shuffler in the world, apart from you. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, I meant like shuffling as in the dance move, not because I'm holding a pack of cards and she can't really shuffle. I meant the dance move shuffling, yeah. Pokemon cards. Did you ever play Pokemon cards as a kid? Yeah? Oh, what a game. What a game. You, you, you can't beat it, really. 
Yu-Gi-Oh was quite good though, wasn't it? Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh was complicated. Yu-Gi-Oh was a complicated game. Pokemon was more simple. You just sort of whoever had the you know energy cards, XP, uh, HP wasn't it? You had to get HP. Charizard was good because Charizard had a hundred HP. Yeah, I had Charizard. Now yeah, put these back in the box as well. This is this has not gone to plan. Um, turns out putting things back into boxes is not my strong suit. Keep your head up, keep your head above the gutter, like. You said it the other day, you were like, I'm kind of interested in trying. Do you not remember? Yeah, you were adamant. You were like, this is this is what I want to do. Like, call me Steve Jobs because I want to invest money into Pixar. I don't know. I don't remember your exact word. But anyway, I did get us some plasticine. I've got four covers. could we make? So, do you want to make some clay figures? Assuming, uh, just make a little, little stick person. For now. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, I'll give you this. Uh, this red one. There you go. So this person has a very, very small head and a very long body. I think that's important, uh, anatomically, to have to, to have a, a massive torso, just outrageously sized, uh, and then a head that is comically small for the length of your torso. Like, I mean, it looks like a matchstick, if I'm honest. Very matchsticky. Some arms as well. Give him some arms. Yes. Well, I'm saying, I think it looks like Mr. Burns. You know that Simpsons episode where uh, Mr. Burns is. He's he sort of looks alien. I think it's the radi radiation from the power plant. He sort of comes along, and everyone sings "Bright Eyes" at the end of the episode. It's kind of what that reminds me of. Anyway. Um, how are you going with yours? <laughs> that's brilliant. That's, that's brilliant. That's so good. Alright, let's just put them down here, shall we? Alright, cool. Yeah, well that's another thing we can do. We just... <sighs> that's just... <laughs> yeah. We can do that later if you want. I'm really, I'm interested. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Very keen. Very keen indeed. This, yeah. Yeah, it's Murakami. Norwegian wood. Have you read it? That's alright. It's it's a good... Like, he writes, like, like... Real nostalgically. You know? I guess the, the entire book is sort of... Nostalgic. Um, it's a beautiful book. It really is. It deals with a lot of... A lot of very human... Um, scenarios and situations and I feel like a lot of people can really relate to you know, what Toru is going through because it's it has his internal dialogue going on as well throughout the entire thing it's really good um, and it's set 20 years 
prior to the original chapter so sort of like it's this guy looking back on things and he does write with that sort of rose tinted you know sort of viewpoint those rose tinted glasses that you sort of look back on memories through and you, you see things you may not have seen or you may remember something more fondly than it was when you were experiencing it at the time you know yeah he's read some other books um Shannon was saying he was reading The Wind Up Bird Chronicles. I'd be interested in reading that one. Yeah, he mentioned what it was about. I can't remember exactly, but he did go into some detail and I have forgotten, I'll be honest. Because I'm pretty poor with that at the minute, it seems. But yeah, I really do like it. Do you want a drink? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, sure, I mean, I've got some ice. Five? Five pieces of ice. Okay. That's all you wanted? Whiskey. You want some scotch? It's like... It's nine in the morning. You want... Fine. Yeah? Hey. Quarantine, what are you going to do? Sure. You hear that rain? All right. There you go. What do you think? It's alright, it's uh, 12 years old, single scotch. Thank you. Mm. It's nice, eh? It's real smooth. Sounds nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on at the minute, really, when you think about it. We should write some of this stuff down. We should have like a, we should keep a journal or something, I think. Yeah, it'll be fun to look back on. Yeah, just look back on it. I know it's like difficult right now and everything, but it'll be fun to look back on this time. Because it's pretty unique. It's a pretty historical event as well, sort of worldwide. thoughts during this time. Yeah, we could write a journal. Let's write down our thoughts right now. Um, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Some more scotch. So he's finished it. Mm. You didn't want any more, did you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I. Yeah, I make my eyes water a little bit. That was silly. I shouldn't have done that. That was. Sorry about that. Don't know why I did that to you. Very sorry. Um, I mean, we still got this tea to drink, haven't I? This is chai tea, yeah. Doesn't really mix well with the scotch, I'll be honest. <laughs> Do you want to play some video games? We could play some. Yeah, Chuck's, uh, Chuck FIFA on or something. There's so much. We're, we're just running through like this, the list of things we could do. We'll just try them out one by one. Because... Yeah. Alright. Uh, the 
title screen, EA Sports. It's in the game. Is your controller working? Yeah, right, just swap with swap. Have this one. Now it can be a bit tricky sometimes, this. It can get stuck. What was it the menu? Ah, yeah. That's what I can see. Lights come on now. So we've connected. Yeah, he's got to press the center button. You're more into video games than I do. I barely play video games. Ah, it's the controller, is it? Xbox, yeah. Xbox 360 controller. Yeah, from. 1978 I can't figure this game out, can you? Well no, it's not FIFA <laughs> I don't know what this game is is that a lightsaber? What's the squirrel doing with the lightsaber? <laughs> Who is that? Who is it? It's not, is it? <laughs> what are they doing in a video game? Well, I don't know either. This is, I can't, sorry, I just, I'm, I just can't play video games, I try, it's something we can, we can do, definitely over this next three or four weeks that we're stuck inside together, but right now I just, I'm just, I just can't, I just can't do it, I'm so sorry, it's, I just, I'm so sorry, yeah, what else could we do during this, this period, yeah, we could look longingly at our passports, sure, just oh, can't use you. Unfortunate, very unfortunate to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. You spoken to your parents recently? They don't alright. Yeah, no, it would be nice to go home. I think so. But it's nice. It's nice to be stuck here with you. You know, it's uh, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. This really, all I want to do is hang out with you anyway. You know, it doesn't change much. Yeah. Well, I think we'll get through this quite quite well. You know, I think after this we'll definitely be stronger as a couple because we've been through it is relatively unprecedented in history. I mean, obviously, there have been pandemics, Spanish flu, the 1957 flu outbreak, SARS, swine flu. Uh, but, yeah, this is, this is, this is nuts. And, I, I don't know, but I'm just glad to have you here with me. Because I'm pretty, pretty lonely without. So, yeah. <laughs> sure, we could try some, yeah. Try some other stuff if you want. What else do you want to do? All right. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. Cool. Sweet. When? Now? Nah, like later on. Sure. Okay. Well, I might make another cup of tea. And then we can just sort of snuggle in and watch movies. What do you think of Jojo Rabbit last night? Yeah, oh, I liked it too, it was funny. I liked Taika Waititi. He's a good director, good actor, good writer. Just all round, quite a talented guy, I think. Alright. Cool, let's do it. Love you. Hi. Um. Oh. I, I, uh, I'm no, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm nervous. Um, basically, we've we've been dating for a while now. You know, a couple of years. Um, 
I, I know we, we're young. Uh, sorry, I have, I have an entire speech planned. I never wrote, I never wrote anything down. But um, I, I know I just have to listen you know, to my heart and all um, of, of what to say. Because I know, like, uh, I have a tendency for when I'm, when I'm sort of free flying, you know, um, that to ramble and bumble and, and say the wrong thing, you know. Um, but I think, I, th I think you're the one. You are the one for me. Yep, pretty, I, you know, I think you're, you're aware of that. Um. You can see where this is going. Just let me do it, please. Just let me. Yeah, I, uh, just let me uh, do this, please. Okay. Um, I have a ring, and there's no one else. I there's no one else I want to spend my life with. Um. I, you know. Yeah. The marriage is a, is a funny thing. Marriage is a funny thing. And I would like to be married to you. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I, I'll get, I will, I'll get down on a knee in a minute. Just wait, please. Because I, I want to marry you. Ever since I met you, I'm going to, here we go. Ever since I met you, I have, I have known, if you know, in the movies, when, um, you know, everything seems to slow down and. The, the world blur as apart from you know what you're see the, the person they fall in love with and like music's playing but you can't hear anything and your heartbeat goes um well that that happened when I met you uh yeah St. Patrick's Day two two years ago and yeah well, I mean we were we weren't sober for sure but it was St. Patrick's Day yeah, it's a pretty standard thing to happen on St. Patrick's Day no no mean feat, but I, I remember seeing you and you, you sort of fell backwards onto that couch. And I was like, that's, that's who I'm, I'm going to marry. And now I have a chance to ask you to marry me. Um, I'll get, I'll get down on my knee. I'll, I will, I'll. <sighs> will you, will you marry me? Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do we do now? So we're getting married, that's cool, that's wonderful. I'm stoked about that. That's probably the best thing that could have happened to me in my life. Um, uh, did you have any idea this is, uh, I didn't, ooh, did you have any idea this that I was gonna ask you? Okay, you saw the ring, that's fine. Um, I didn't hide it very well, it was in the glove box of my car and I suppose you, you, uh, you have a scalp. That's fine. I probably should have kept it somewhere better. Uh, less obvious too. I'm in a ring box. That's, that's pretty, pretty obvious. Um, what's inside? But yeah. So, I mean, we need to tell people basically. I think we'll keep it a secret. Maybe have like a secret wedding. That could be really lovely and romantic. Just like send invites out two days before or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be spare, it doesn't have to be big, we can just have, we can just be just us, you know, go to Vegas and elope or something, but it's, it's, it's not the wedding I care about, it's the marriage, and I want to be married to you, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to say, so, thank you for allowing me to partake in the marriage with you, um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, <laughs> so thanks. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's, let's do that then. Cheers. I love you. And I'm stoked that we can get married. I don't know how, how else, what else to say. So, uh, let's, let's celebrate. In the best way known possible. All right. What's, what's wrong? What? You don't know. This just sort of come out, come out.
out, come out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's a random sort of attack of sadness or whatever. Well, don't worry. I'm your boyfriend. And what are boyfriends for? They're there to cheer you up. So, I'm going to cheer you up so well. I, I'm just going to find something to cheer you up with. I promise. I'll find it. Uh, you know, have you ever seen... Some music, eh? How about that? You know, just a little bit off. Or I could, uh, well, I could do, I could always draw your picture, right? You know, I could always draw your picture, so uh, let's go. Driving with the brakes on. Yeah. Follow me on SoundCloud. <laughs> um, no, you know I haven't got a SoundCloud. Don't worry. I'm just, I was kidding. It's a joke. I know it's just us here. Yeah. All right. How about doing a pretty admitted? Even even you know I date via dear. And who do we have here? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's my impression of uh, Eisenhower.
questions, you know me. Mal Gibson. Um, oh, I watched a really good documentary the other day, last night actually. It's called Six Days to Air. It's about the South Park. The guys who, you know, do South Park. They uh, just make an episode of South Park in six days. It's bizarre, like he was saying, he was playing Xbox. And an advert came on his Xbox saying South Park starting Wednesday. And he was like, I haven't written the, it yet. It's got a premiere date. It's premiering on Wednesday. People are advertising for it, but I haven't actually written the show yet. You know what I mean? This is taking ages. But I uh, finally got it done. There you go. I just want to warm up my hands to it. You have a serious case of an amazing boyfriend. I'm afraid it's terminal and you'll be with her for life. This guy. For life. Oh yeah. So I'm just trying I'm just trying to cheer you up. You know, I get it. I, it's you're not feeling great. What can I do? What can I I don't I got an idea. Where's he gone? That's horrifying. 
this, okay? We how about this? We we chill out tonight. I know this is my like solution for a lot of stuff, but I think we should watch Notting Hill. Cause I love it. And then oh, we could watch Hacksaw Ridge, another great movie. We could watch both. And then I want a curry tonight. What so I run out of the curry shop. Literally if you've not been to it. It's really good, yeah. I've eaten there a couple of times though. Ben, Daniel, Flynn and Max, we all eat there. Uh, they're really good too. They've got like ten dollar meals, which is really, really good. Especially for curry. Because they give you the naan, the garlic naan and all that stuff, yeah. Well I've run down there, get some food. I'm gonna get some marshmallows too, because I wanted to play the chubby bunny challenge. I'll move the candle, I'll move the candle. You're all right. See, it's out. Come on. Yeah, that's better, right? Cool. Sorry, I didn't realize you didn't like candles. So, I, hey. Sorry, my fault. I, I shouldn't have asked for candles. Hey, do you mind if I undo this button, by the way? Because I, I know you, like, you wanted to be dressed up and stuff, but this button is suffocating me. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> yeah. All right, cool. It's, it's, uh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, uh, how was uh, how was your day? Yeah, it's nice that we can get away once a week to a restaurant. This is actually a really cool restaurant. I really like this place. Um, you know the drummer from ACDC? Yeah, Phil Wright, I think. Well, he actually owns this place. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's called Phil's Place. You see that, that drum kit up there? Yeah, the, the drum kit. Yeah, it's um, that's he played that on stage with ACDC. Pretty cool, eh? All right, yeah, it's quite nice, but you know they've got the curtains shut at the moment, but I think we'll open up later. And I just don't like having my back to a window. It's like a stupid superstition. I have, I don't know, it's stupid. Anyway, have you looked at the menu. I've not been along. I've been in like five minutes, maybe. Yeah, five minutes, not very long at all. Um, but yeah, I, I just, uh, I came here straight from work, and, cool, yeah, but do you have a nice day off? Cool, yeah, oh mate, a good day off is a good day off, do you, what do you do, like, just Netflix? Hey, fair enough, fair enough, I'm just gonna turn my phone off, um, I'm not really rude, so, phone is off. All yours. Yeah, today was good, thanks. I, uh, it was busy, not gonna lie. Um, but like a good busy. It wasn't like stressful, it was just like, we walked in, bing bang bosh, work was getting done. So that was cool. Um, yeah, I have ordered you a drink, by the way. I hope you're okay with that. I, I know your order, I know it. We've been dating a long time, I think. <laughs> I know what you drink. This will be them now with the drinks. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. What'd you get? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I just, I just got a drink. Pretty Coke. I got a drive. Mm. Yeah. It would have been nice to get some Guinness. I know, but hey, maybe on the weekend. Yeah. Have you looked at the menu? You've looked at the menu, you know what you're gonna order? Yeah, I know, I've, I've already chosen. I, I haven't ordered it yet, but I have chosen what I'm gonna have. I think it's quite, I'm quite looking forward to it. I've heard it's, uh, they do a really good one. So, <laughs> my words failed me there, I'm sorry. But yeah, let's go. Cool. So what did you watch on Netflix? Ah, oh, nice. No, I've not seen it yet. Um, I thought you were gonna wait for me to watch that with you. Because everyone's talking about it and everyone's 
It's like been reviewed really well. Yeah. We you watch it again. Alright, cool. Sweet ass. No need to worry then. Yeah. Uh yeah, please. Do you wanna order first? Okay. Wait, I'll just wait. And could I please get the uh just the chicken parmesan please? Thank you. Thanks. Oh no, we're good for drinks. Yeah, yeah good for drinks, thanks. Thank you. Alright. Yes, service here is really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I um they all I hear that they bring the food quite quickly as well, which is nice. Considering um the lot was the last restaurant we went to, what was it called? I think it was just called one. O N E, right? Was it till like a ninety minutes? They must have been like so stacked in the kitchen. Must have been ridiculous. Too fair there was that big party of like fourteen. Yeah, no right near us. Oh my god, that she was so obnoxious. Yeah. I I was she just so loud and so rude to the wait staff. Like, um did you see that guy the girl one of the waiters come out? He was like, he comes up to the table, and uh, this guy had like an empty glass in front of him, and an empty bottle of Peroni, I think it was. And um, so this guy, the waiter, goes to take the empty bottle of Peroni, and the guy goes, "Stop! I'm not finished with that, mate." And then the guy's, "Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, it's just empty. I didn't realise." Well, maybe you should think more. Well, you know, it was so rude. Like these waiters and waitresses and things, they have to deal with just the worst people. I have such, I have no envy for their job whatsoever. You yeah, always tip, I think, um, if they're, you know, good service and everything. Yeah, for sure. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, America, they really do. I think a couple of other countries maybe as well. But, um, yeah, America, they tip every single meal. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I, I tip, I, I tip a lot. But, um, I feel like people really work hard, so I think they deserve a bit extra. Yeah. Anyway, even if I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. No, you know, it's just at work, like, I don't... I, it's, it's less, like, sociable conversation, it's more like, Oh, hey, Derek, did you, uh... Did you put more toner in the machine, you know? Stuff like that. Uh, so I don't really get to talk about, like... Just normal stuff, like human things. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I mean, they're good people when I see them occasionally outside work. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's not like, yeah, I mean, if we, like, if we get married, you all. I, um, it's, it's, it'll be good to discuss it now, I mean. But sure, we, we could just discuss it another time. Yeah, I mean, you, I, I, you know my feelings about marriage. It's um, it's like it's complicated. Like I like the idea of it. I like the idea of the party. I don't understand the point of marriage. Um, but then again, I also understand why people want to get married. You know, it's a commitment. It's lifelong. Um, it, 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 there's a difference between saying, you know. Uh, my husband or my wife, as opposed to my girlfriend or boyfriend or my partner. Um, but at the same time, there's no difference. It's just a word. So I'm very conflicted about the whole thing. Um, and I don't think I'm eloquent enough to describe what I actually think. Um, but I think if marriage makes you happy, then get married. If marriage doesn't make you happy, then don't get married. Um, I don't think we should look down on people who choose either way, because, yeah, everyone's the main character, everyone's the protagonist in their own story, so why should you, why should you care what someone else does? Yeah, and I'm not having, I'm not having to go at you, you know, I'm just saying, like, you know, I think people can be too critical of others sometimes, yeah, I was just, uh, at work today, oh my god, Debbie. Debbie, she um, she just she, she just chatted about tattoos, 
and how anyone who gets one is like a uh, uh, sorry, a degenerate. It's like Debbie, come on now, you know. Let's let's not be throwing the degenerate word around because I'm sure someone could pick apart your character quite quite easily. But anyway, sorry, I'm getting real bitchy. I always get kind of gossipy at dinner. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I'll wait for your food to come. I'm surprised they didn't bring both at the same time. Oh no, here it comes. Cool. Alright, bon appetit, let's start. Alright, that is really firm. Very firm. Mm. This is good. What do you think of yours? Got my mouth. Mm. So, um, I think I'd to watch that movie when we get home. It's called To All The Boys I've Loved Before, right? Something like that. I really want to watch it. I've been putting it off. What did I watch recently? I watched, um, Saving Private Ryan. I watched that again. Yeah. Just a good movie, innit? The opening sequence is phenomenal. Really, like, immersive. Um, <laughs> I watched uh, with Max the other day. I watched some. We watched some. Uh, uh, Geordie Shaw. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> now uh, we were just watching it. Uh, we watched like three episodes of the first season. One episode, one, two, and three. Absolute weapons. <laughs> The idea of being on reality television isn't like attractive, I don't think. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I would like, 
You know those shows like, um, like I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, or shows like that, but then that can be fun because, like, it's, it's kind of like a challenge, and there are challenges involved, and I think they're quite experienced. But at the same time, you got to have your life filmed, so I think it's 50-50, mate, really. Yeah. I'm, again, I'm conflicted. I feel like I have, like, opinions on either side of the fence and everything. Well, not everything. There are some things I'm very firm about. Nah. Sorry, I think I was speaking real quiet there. I had a bit of something in my throat. Uh, where can you go by the pub? Pub, gelato, a home and movie. I think that's perfect. That, that's... You, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, of course I'll be there. Pub. the chef or something. Ah, you know what it is. What time is it? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're alright. That's like 10. Sweet. Alright, um... Oh, it's getting into summer as well. When do the clocks go back? It's soon, right? Oh, it's Father's Day soon. Yeah, it's Father's Day in like... a week. Yeah, like next Sunday I think is Father's Day. I'm, yeah, I am not prepared. I don't know, I think I'm gonna write him a script. Yeah, he's got this idea for a movie, but he's never done anything with it. I thought it'd be nice if I just write him a script or something. Yeah, Father's Day, it's like, I, I see I see Father's Day as like, I always make gifts on Father's Day and Mother's Day and stuff like that, because it's not about spending money or anything, it's just about acknowledging their sacrifice to raise us, you know? Yeah, I, I'm pretty stoked with my parents. I'm pretty lucky. They're, pr they're pretty good people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big Mike, big Jack. <laughs> with the tiny, the, the tiny little things, aren't they? But um, no, I love them. Yeah. Do you have any plans for your uh, Father's Day? That's a cool idea. Yeah. That's an yeah, I've, I've never actually been there, but I hear it's really good. Alright, yeah. It does smell there though, right? Because of all the sulfur. And the entire area smells really, let's be honest. It's weird. As soon as you get to Nongda, and then the smell begins, because you need to see the wide aura of it. You come around that corner. Yeah. And then, as you go, in the I think probably, you got to be like 10k clear of Fenton Street before the smell stops. Yeah. Um. No, I, I haven't been there in a while. I think the last time, I mean, obviously I've been there for like, we went but I mean, skydiving and stuff. But, uh, I haven't probably been there. I think the last time I was there for like a night was when I was 16. Yeah, that was 
does that, um, but he knows who Rhapsody, the singing competition. Yeah, yeah. And so we were there, and obviously I was in this choir because Cameron, my brother Cameron, he uh, he forced me to get into the choir because he was trying to start something because he was, you know, you know, the leaders of the school, or whatever. And he forced me to get into the choir. It's out of my comfort zone, not gonna lie. And I ended up getting like a solo in Hallelujah. You know, the Father, the Fifth, the Manifold, and the Middle Ear. That one. And um, I got to my solo. I had like, the second verse, it's one of the King rocking about. And uh, I was about 15, so peak puberty. And uh, I cracked four or five high, so my ball squeaks, I think, equal. Yeah. So it's like four, and then squeaks. Squeak, squeak. And then I was like, shit, and my microphone was still on. So I'm walking back to my place and I just hear, shit, reverberate around the room. About 500 people in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the worst part was one of the judges. Because we had judged after like X Factor kind of thing, except it was, you know, it's not. And one of the judges stand there, he's like, you, points at me. He's like, come, come over here. So in front of 500 people, he's teaching me how not to go through puberty. <laughs> He's like, when you get to the high notes, just push down on this chair. And it will expand your lungs or something, I can't remember what it was. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. okay. He's like, try it. I was like, okay, no, I can't talk, try it. Absolute mess. But then afterwards, we just, because uh, after that, we were meant to do like two or three days of classes down there. But we just went and hung around uh, the town, really. Took the guitar with us and we busked. Sex store playing um, Ashley Baby by Escape the Moment. That song, Ashley Baby, playing that song by Escape the Fate on the guitar. Uh, kicked out, he's 14 at the time, so. Ah, uh, yeah. And then we went home. But, uh, yeah, I kind of haven't told you that I've got a lot of horrible stories from that period of my life. Yeah, puberty's not good to anyone, I don't think. I mean, it was obviously good to you. <laughs> How you going? Yeah. I just thought we could like try and figure out what our plans are for Christmas, you know? Just thought it could be advantageous to get in there this quick, this early. Um I know we've sort of tossed ideas about, but uh let's get it set in stone, shall we? So I've got my uh So, uh, we don't have to set anything in stone, I suppose, right now. But let's, let's throw some ideas down there. Then tonight, or whatever, we can think about it again, you know, give us, give us some time. So, just, uh... So we can make the most of the day. Do you want to sleep? We used to sleep in this Christmas. I say 9 a.m. 9 a.m. wake up ish? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Let's do that. So, let's write this down. So, 9 a.m. Wake up. Alright, so, after we wake up, what are we going to do? Are we going to. Oh, big breakfast? Small breakfast? 
Sounds perfect. What should the pancakes? Yeah, easy. Of course. Breakfast pancakes for Christmas. Love that. Love that idea. And then take the dog for a walk. Of course. Christmas morning walk. So far, so easy. Hey, walk. Lovely. We could take her to the beach, couldn't we? Yeah. It'd be so nice. Let's get her in the car, drive to the beach. Because I, I mean, I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Hopefully it's not like this. And then I hopefully get like a nice sort of like mid to late 20s kind of day. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow, oh my God. Have you seen the weather for tomorrow, by the way? 38 degrees. Bloody hell. Can't be having that. That's so hot. I just, I don't want it to be too hot. You know? So I want to be able to enjoy Christmas. Yeah. But this will be our first Christmas together, won't it? Oh. That's so exciting. That'd be nice. No. Yeah. I mean, thank you for making the stockings, obviously, and the Christmas tree looks superb. This'll be fun. So, we'll go to the beach, to the beach, I'll write that down. To the beach. All right, Altona Beach or St Kilda? Altona, it was fun last year when we did Altona, wasn't it? Oh yeah, okay, cool, let's do Altona. Um, but then Max and Shannon wanted to do so. so we, Max and Shannon were talking about having like a barbecue or something along those lines. Get some friends around, I think. So Nora invited us to her Christmas day. But then again, Shannon, Max, and I were thinking of the barbecue. It would be fun. Uh, Sean and Sarah wanted to come round. Maybe oh, Ryan's coming down as well for it, isn't he? So yeah. So we can have a little thing here. Uh, I think Nicole's working until about four on Christmas Day, and then she'll come around after as well. Perfect. Yeah, I love that. So we'll come back and then we'll have the barbecue. That sounds perfect. I love that idea. Okay, so have barbecue. So have that for like what, half twelve, one p.m. maybe, and then. Maybe we could drop down the pub. I know it's closed, but Shannon's got a key. And we could hang out, because there's the hostel attached to it as well, isn't there? So we could do that. We could get on there and hang out with them for a bit, depending on what their plans are. Because uh, they're all away from home for Christmas as well. So we could try and organise something like that. Or, alternatively, it could just be us. And we could sort of... Sort of, you know, siphon ourselves away. To have... A little Christmas of our own. Maybe go for a dance, sing. We could set up a karaoke in the front room. That could be fantastic, actually. Maybe get some board games going, karaoke. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to write down karaoke. Kari karaoke's a weird one to spell, isn't it? It's like karaoke. Oak. Kara Oak. It's a weird one. It's not how you say karaoke. I mean, technically, it should be spelled. I mean, it doesn't really matter how it's spelled. The English language is a weird one we've sort of stolen from everywhere else, haven't we? So our spellings are weird. Always got weird spellings. Anyway, was it anything in particular that you wanted to do for Christmas? Anything you sort of had your heart set on? Not really, just... <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah, alright, I, I get that. I just want to spend it with you two. It doesn't really matter what we do as long as we're together, right? Perfect. Yeah, totally understand that. I subscribed to that so hard. Cool. All right. See so yeah, how just write, should I write that down? Yeah. Okay. I'll write that down. So doesn't. I'll write over here. I can't really see the lights a bit. Mid. Doesn't really matter if we're together. Okay. That's sweet. I know. Alright, so then it gets to the evening, and we'll be pretty sort of scacked after our day. A lot of eating. Uh, a lot of eating is planned, actually. And then, what else could we do? Yes, the evening, let's just see where it takes us. Let's not plan everything too hard, let's not be too rigid in our movements, because it might restrict us, you know, it may, it may restrict us, you never know. If we just sort of like, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this. 
I'll tell you something we do need to do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, we need to wrap a present because I need to send them off to New Zealand. Uh, my friend Zach, I got him a present, which he's really, I haven't really told him about it, but I know he's, he'll be excited by it. Where was it? I need to, it's just there, okay, so. I'll just get this present so I can uh, take wrapping paper. Where was the oh, it's there, but okay, okay. Alright, so. Oh dear, that's, I've fallen backwards. Help. SOS, SOS. Zach, I got this for Zach, it's a water bottle. It's a 500 milliliter water bottle, so about a pint, half a liter. And I just know his eyes are gonna light up when he sees it, you know? It's um, entirely empty. It's entirely empty, there's not gonna be anything in it, but. I think you'll like it, you know? I think it, you know, opens nicely. Shuts nicely, it's a nice sort of thin, a thin bottle top, you know, not, not too wide. Not too voluminous, not too thick. So uh, this could be perfect. I really think so. And it has been. It's pre-owned. A pre-owned water bottle. So it's got all the sort of remnants inside it. The condensation. The dewy sort of droplets on the inside of the bottle there. Yeah, I just need to wrap this for him now and send it off. Because Australia Post, you know, it's just, it's not doing the job. It's a slow service. Uh, and an expensive service if you want to make it not a slow service, you know what I mean? Anyway. Should be in the drawer, but they're not in the drawer, so I don't know where the scissors are. As such, I did have to wrap, uh, um, you know, tear it. I'm afraid. Where's your present? Well, you can't ask that, can you? I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll see it on Christmas Day, or like a couple of days after if I hit the Boxing Day sales. You know, it's cheaper in the Boxing Day sales. Yeah, I know what you mean. How do I know what you mean? How do I know what you want? How do, I think I know you pretty well. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I want, you know, I see you every day pretty much. I know you quite well, I think. Of course I know you. It'd be weird if I didn't know you. I feel like I've got a good grasp of what you'd like and what you wouldn't like. Plus, you've mentioned, like, at least 50 things to me, so I've, I'll just choose one of those 50 things. You know what I mean? Let's wrap this. use mouse and tape as well. I couldn't find the sellotape. How weird is that? I couldn't find sellotape in this house. There's usually sellotape everywhere. Okay. Ah, no. Okay. So the problem with this masking tape is it doesn't really... It doesn't pull off in a nice, easy manner. Ah, it's so annoying. Alright. This hasn't gone to plan. <laughs> I've never been good at wrapping presents. You should know this from your birthday.
know what we should do? We should organise a night where we just sort of get together and wrap all the presents that we've got for everyone. You know, not for each other, obviously. It'd be weird if we wrapped each other's presents in front of one another. That has to be kept a secret. We have to do that in the silence of the dead of night, you know? But yeah, I think it would be nice for us just to sort of sit down and maybe have a coffee, not a coffee, a cup of tea, maybe, or something like that. That could be fun. Anyway, I'll finish wrapping this so far. So good. Do you reckon I should keep the, the like the red of the top exposed? Yeah, I'll do that. Let's do a little bit more down here, I think. Where are we? Oh, where is it? Here it is. Good. Oh, this is this is nuts, eh? How mounted is that? How are you going with your Christmas shopping, by the way? Yeah? Oh, decent. Nice. Yeah, I reckon she'll love that. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, right, spot on. I love that. It's like the original Mortal Kombat, or... Oh, the new one. Nah, no, I've heard a lot about the new Mortal Kombat. Apparently it's meant to be really good. Sure. Or maybe they'll let us play it, you know? Hopefully. Wrapped. Should I write his name on it? Zack. I'm gonna need a Sharpie for that, I reckon. A Sharpie would do much better. Where's our book? There it is. Cool. So. I think that's... That seems like a really good Christmas day. I've not written much down, if I'm being honest. Not much at all. But, um... I reckon this is... This will be great. Yeah, so we wake up at 9am. Christmas Day pancakes. Nutella. Strawberry. Icing sugar. Yeah. Okay, cool. After that, take the dog for a walk to the beach. Altona Beach, I think we decided. Okay, we could do New Brighton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice view of the skyline too. Just wondering, would it be too busy on Christmas Day? Well, yeah, right. we'll decide beforehand though. But Altona, New Brighton, New... No, oh, that was another one. Point Addis we could drive to. Just means we'd have to probably have to wake up a bit earlier. Sure, okay. Uh, then we get back here, have a barbecue. Perfect. Is there anything specific you'd like for the barbecue? Alright. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> nah, I, yeah, I just presumed you'd want that. That's fair enough. And then after the barbecue, karaoke. I've got a question mark next to it, because obviously, like, we should try and get some more people involved, because that could be a bit of fun. But, uh, I'd like to do some karaoke, get some karma chameleon going, you know? That's my tune, that's my jam. Then after karaoke, I guess we'll just figure out where the night takes us. That's perfect. All right. Yeah. Now I'm really excited for this. Our first Christmas together. It's going to be fantastic. It really is. I love you too. <laughs> perfect. All right. Well, yeah, let's get together and wrap some presents. When? This weekend? Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. I love that. Let's do that.
we're staying in tonight. It's not very nice weather outside at all. And I, I just... You know, I, I read things. I feel like there's a lot of stuff happening at the moment. Um, just especially outside. It seems like inside is um, traditionally it's a safer place. You know, I feel like statistically you're less likely to uh, get hurt inside. I mean, it's, it's a very slim margin for sure, but I feel like if you, if you want to be safe, you stay inside. Please. I mean, yeah, I just... I don't know. What do you mean? No. I, I don't want you. I don't want you going out. I'll come with you then. Like, I, don't, I don't want you coming out alone. Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's the, the, nights, like, the nights are long. The days are short. There are undesirable people everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you know, the world isn't a safe place anymore. Do you remember when we were kids and our mum would just be like, hey, could you look after the, him? Just some random guy? No, neither can I, because that never happened to me. And that's probably why, why I am. But I, uh, I can't, I can't have you. You know? It's, I mean, it's not like, we don't live in a very bright place, do we? It's quite dark, quite dingy. And I feel like people could be hiding, hiding anywhere, even inside, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But when the summer comes, then I feel like we could, you're going to a festival in the summer. For how long? Three days. Three days. When, when, did, you, when did you decide that? Okay. Okay, it's, yeah. Is that why you were celebrating? Okay. Which, which festival? Right. No, I hear it. I did, but I hear it's a good festival. But, um, I don't know. I, and you're gonna stay there, like, in a tent? Around drunk and drugged up people? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I worry. You know, you, you, I'm your boyfriend. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It just seems like maybe we could talk about it before you go. Um, you could FaceTime me. You, you've got an Android, okay? Um, well, Snapchat's got that video call feature, Facebook, Skype. I know there's plenty of ways we can keep in touch. Um, well, I could just come with you. You know, to the festival suit. Okay, well, sure. But, I don't know. I just, I just... I, I don't, I... I worry about you. I worry about your safety. I, I worry that people can take advantage of you, you know? And I don't want that to happen. Maybe I could get you like a weapon or something. I, yeah, I think a weapon might not be like, the best word for it. Like a, do you have, you have like mace or pepper spray, yeah? I mean, yeah, could that help? Could that help look after you? Because, I don't know. Ah, this is, I don't want to be the guy who suggests that, but at the same time, my heart's like, suggest it, you know? So. Remember the last time we went to a festival? It was just a one-day festival. It wasn't one of the festivals you stay overnight at. Uh, down by the waterfront. And I remember Max and I went to the supermarket to get some stuff. And you're like, I'll just stay here in this tent. Uh, and we're like, yeah, sure, good. Because we were young and naive. supermarket and and we were away for 10 minutes come back and there were three guys groping me do you remember that the three guys okay one guy yeah i saw you know what? yeah and i know you were angry about how i reacted to that and yeah but still like you know like people can't do that to other people that's your body 
Yeah, and you can look after yourself, I understand, I get that. But it doesn't mean I don't want to look after you. You know? You know, it's, it's, it's like some instinct in me. I want to protect you. I can't help it. I don't know. I, I, okay. An idea. If you don't want pepper spray or a mace or a taser, a taser? No, maybe not a taser. Okay. Imagine a taser going off in your pocket. That would be horrible. I've got an idea. Okay. So. Where are we? I've got it in here somewhere. Brilliant idea. Just carry this on your belt. Completely, like, you know, totally easy to carry around. And it's 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 a green one too, so you know, the second best colour. Blue is the best obviously. I think red's the best. What are you a Sith? No, oh, green. Qui-Gon Jin. Uh others. I don't know. I, who else had a green one? I think Yoda. He had a green one. Um, I think Anakin and Luke both had a green one at some point. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so you just you know, put this down like this. And you clip it onto your belt. With this clip here. That's all you got to do. And then it's, no one's going to notice you've got a lightsaber attached to you. And then if they come near you, just go. You want to go. You want to go. And then and they'll, they'll stay away from you after that. That's an actual, that's a good tip from me, I think. See this clip? Whew. Yeah, I think that's a good tip. I think so. Yeah. We do have a couple of others, I think. A blue one and a red one. But they don't have the clip, so... It doesn't make sense, because you'd have to carry that in your hand. And, um, well, that's just way too obvious. You know? Okay. So you're not gonna... Absolutely freaking minuscule. Look at this. Where are they? They. Why does this bear not have any eyes? That is just a. <laughs> that's nightmarish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. That's a nightmarish bear. I've just know what is going on. Why are his Why are his paws so big? Why has he got such tiny arms and massive hands? Like what is going? What? I don't know what's going. Is he wearing a top? What's, what is this? Where did this come from? Anyway, sorry, got sidetracked. Um, we put cameras, we put, and you have this with you at all times, and that way we have evidence, surveillance, constant surveillance. Yes, brilliant idea. Thank you, I thought it was a good idea too. So, it's kind of cute actually, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of that? stupid. I just worry about you, that's all. I really do. You know, I think when, I, if I think about you in danger, I'm just like, you know, my heart beats so fast. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It just feels like if, like, if you were to die, I would blame myself. If anything was to happen to you, I feel like dying is a bit extreme. If anything was to happen to you, I would blame myself for not stopping it. You know, anything, anything at all, anything detrimental, anything bad happened to you. Um, first, top of the list to blame me, Holly Langdon, because you know, I think that's, I think that's, I think that's fair. Personally, I think that's understandable. Like, if it's the same thing with my little brother, if anything was to happen to him, I blame myself. With my old brother, I don't know if I blame myself. I think it's a weird thing, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But, yeah. Um... <sighs> so you want to go to this festival? That's fine. I just, yeah, I gotta, le I gotta let to... I gotta learn to, uh... Trust that you can look after yourself, Sean. I know you can. I've seen you in action. Yeah. 
You're a badass. I just... Anyway, but yeah, did you still want to go out, like, outside now? You do? What do you want to get? What do you, why do you, why do you want to, why do you have to go outside now? Groceries. We can starve. I don't mind. It's safe here. <laughs> to be fair though, our neighbour, she's been watching me a bit weird recently. Being serious, I went out. I was looking out, so I was making a cup of tea earlier, like two days ago. Two days ago, I look out the window because you know when, when the kettle's boiling, I'm like, what was he gonna do? I just stare out the window, and there she is, like moving the curtain, just watching me. Yeah, didn't appreciate that. Was I naked? Yes, maybe. Maybe I was naked. I'm kidding, but yeah. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go out together. I'll, we'll, we'll walk together to the shops and we'll get some stuff. And, um, we'll buy, we'll, we'll buy like a, like a, a big spiky ball and chain and nunchucks. Yeah? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. And, um, we just get two more people, name ourselves after Renaissance painters, and we'll call ourselves, um, the, the early 20s. Uh, safe, um, humans. Only 20 safe humans. Yeah. I haven't stopped that. And we could, like, have, like, a, a, uh, a rat who's our sensei. Yeah, we live in the sewers. I haven't stolen an idea from anyone. That's purely 100% original. IP. Alright. So we're cracking on? Alright, cool. Sounds good. you had trouble sleeping. Honestly, yeah, I, I struggle sometimes too, actually. Yeah. Well, I just watch ASMR videos to sleep. I know. I know. Yeah, well, like, for the first year of our relationship, you would call me pretty much every night, about 3am. And you'd be like, yes, okay, okay. I'll stay on the phone to you until you fall asleep. So I'm used to, like, your sleeping habits. It's been a while since you struggled to sleep, though. Has anything triggered this? No, nothing. That's fair enough. We well, yeah, I'm just here by your side until you want to fall asleep. Is there anything you want me to do that might help you with that, or...? Nothing. Just... Okay, okay, yeah, definitely, for sure. Mm hmm Oh dear, I'll tell you I'll tell you about my day for sure. Okay, um Well well, well I woke up. Yeah. Woke up freezing. Yeah, I forgot to have the heater on last night. Because I got home late. Because Max flew off to Melbourne last night. Yeah. And so I was around his and Cohen and Pete were there and um, we sort of just sort of watched movies and ate bad food, you know. And then got home late, obviously. Um, forgot to put the heater on. Woke up this morning. Uh, what did I Then I walked dog. Had some breakfast. I've just been working all day, really. I wish I had something more exciting to tell you. Yeah, I've just been, yeah, I've been writing. Oh, I've got two commissions at the moment, so. <sighs> I know. Yeah, you gotta, gotta do it. Sometimes you love them, sometimes you don't. Yeah. But hey, I mean, it's been a good day, though. It's been alright, you know. And then about 7pm, I was like, I'm just gonna stop. I had a shower. And then I get out of the shower. And you, you text me, so I, uh, I came round, and I'm glad I did. You seem in quite, you know, quite a tizzy. But yeah, definitely, I can sing to you if you want. I know they used to help me when I was younger. Yeah, my dad used to sing, uh, 
couple songs I remember, he reckons he sang more than just two, but from my memory it was just, he would sing Gone Fishing by Chris Rea, you know, Gone Fishing, Drop Me a Light, that one, but I'm not too uh, sure of the lyrics on that. And the other one I very distinctly remember, my dad singing to me when I was younger, was, um, all my loving I will send to you. That one, yeah. Um, I think it, the best version is is my dad singing it. And then it's Paul McCartney. I'm not gonna, yeah. I think it goes, Dad, Paul McCartney. Just below him, but below him nonetheless. But yeah, he, uh, he stopped singing that to me when we moved to England. I remember he would. So yeah, when we lived on the island, uh, yeah, he would, he would sing, come in every night, sing it to us, and we moved to England and just never saw him. You know, he's always working on, working away. It's tricky, it's tricky life, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, I don't, I don't mean to get melancholy, I'm trying to get you to sleep. Maybe sadness is that no, maybe not. Well, what can I do? You know, I could tuck you in. You're already pretty, pretty cosy. Well, I don't know what to do now. I've tried singing and obviously that didn't work. A striptease? Huh? Maybe not. The striptease might get you all excited, eh? Alright, that's a bit offensive. Don't worry. Yeah? I'll ignore that you said that, pretend that never came out of your mouth. Okay. Well, why don't I talk to you about our travel plans coming up? I have an idea. I read about it in like this weird New Age magazine thing where uh, apparently if um, someone sort of dabs um, tea bags on your face, like your forehead and your cheeks and things. If someone taps a, a tea bag on them, not like tea bagging, like an halo, but like a, a tea bag, like um, tea, uh, then it actually helps you fall asleep. Now, that's all. Hey, I'm gonna get a tea bag right now. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I've got tea bags just here. Okay. Oh, you still there? All right. So, got my tea bags in this. I'm just gonna open it up. I don't know what's going on with the moon tonight. It keeps hiding behind clouds. No clouds, not clowns. <laughs> Could you imagine that? There are like a ton of clowns in the sky. I'm not having Pennywise staring down at me. One tea bag. Put this down there. Okay. Here's the tea bag. If you can hear it, just get some auditory, you know, anticipatory sort of things. Oh, I'm actually, it's a very thin bag. Tea is actually coming out of it. Okay. Just gonna do. Just gonna dab it. Moisten up the area. Ah, oh, that's good. making you a bit sleepy. It's 
slow and sleepy. Okay. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you fall asleep. You're feeling sleepy, 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 sleepy. Okay. You're looking a little bit unfocused in the eyes, don't worry. It's gonna put, should I put this, I'm not gonna put this back in. I'm gonna shut this. Like so. That was loud also. I'm just gonna put this, um, I'll put it there. Put this back now. Don't you fall asleep whilst I'm gone. I'm just over here, okay? You hear me? Okay. You stay exactly where you are. Because I've had another fantastic idea. Yeah. You know? So we start with tea bags, you know? Get that essence soaking into your skin. Okay? And now, I get a towel, a nice warm towel. I'm gonna press it against your face. Not in like a smothering way, no. I'm not trying to cudgel you. Okay. Um, this is a gentle relaxation. Yeah. You know like when you get onto an airplane and they give you like a hot flannel, like a moist warm flannel? That's what we're gonna do with this towel, okay? So, just over here, this towel here. Alright, so, I'm just going to put this over your face. And I'm going to bring it back. There we are. And now one more time. Okay, I want you to count to three with me. I'm going to go one, two, three. And there we are. And okay. Now this time I'm gonna do the same thing, but I want us to count backwards from ten. Okay. So putting this forwards and the forwards nice and slow. Okay, and we're gonna go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. to see your eyes. Okay, now I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm going to drape this half over your eyes like this, okay? So, okay, I'm going to put this How's that? I just want you to relax and stare at me. I'm going to count backwards from 100, and when I get to zero, you'll be asleep, okay? Yeah, I love you. Okay. So, 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. 
66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Can I boo? I love you. Hey, what's wrong? What's going on? I... Yeah. I heard you call. What's going on? What's, what's wrong? Come on, tell me. I'm your boyfriend. I didn't even, I was just getting changed. I was just getting changed, I don't throw this shirt. What's going on, what's wrong, is it? Oh my, boy. okay, I need you to hold my hands and look into my eyes, okay? Deep breaths, deep breath, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Let's count to ten. Alright, a moment, a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Deep breaths with me, come on, come on. Just look into my eyes and breathe. from 10. Okay, with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. A bit. Yeah, I, I, okay, I understand. Just close your eyes. Okay, and breathe. And breathe. Okay. Come on. Alright. Did anything trigger this? Or just out, out of nowhere? I just out of the blue? Okay. No, that's all, I get it. That's fine. I'm not gonna talk if you don't if you don't want me to talk. I won't talk. Okay? I'm just here. Just know that I am here for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, so it's not a burden on me to be here. You know? I don't want to be here. This is this is my choice I'm making. Even if, if you want me to leave. Actually, I, I, if you want me to leave, I understand. Do you want me to? I'll stay. Okay, cool. Because I want to stay. So how about I, uh... uh so if we sort of like, you're relaxing a bit. Um, what could I do to help you calm down further? Okay. ASMR. 
You want me to do some ASMR on you? Alright, I could do that. Yeah, sure. Um, what can we start with? Uh, what sort of ASMR do you like? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, I could do that for sure. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. Dancing monkey. I'll do anything for you, you know that. I'm just gonna take a drink of water if you don't mind. Yeah. I guess get dehydrated a lot, you know that. Yeah. I know. You should aim to drink like four or five liters a day. It's important, you know. drink like, you know, three litres of wine at night. Like, it's it's not, it's just gonna, you're just gonna be a dry shell. But yeah, I don't know, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that like, if you've got a headache, I mean, let's look at the factors involved here. Later on, um, actually, you know, oh, yes, in like 10, 15 minutes, okay, I'm gonna light a fire because it's cold. And then we get blankets, um, hot chocolate. Let the dog get comfortable in the beanbag. We put on 
What movie should we put on? What's the best movie in the world? So before we do all this, okay, so whilst the fire is heating up, okay, so I'll light the fire, uh, you know, kindle in logs, get it all ready. And then, whilst that's heating up the house, we have a bubble bath, yeah, and we get some incense and some candles, uh, some bubble bath, and we just sit there and we listen to music, some jazz, I like jazz, some smooth jazz, baby.
seconds, okay, so. Let's do this. Let's plan this wedding. I know, I know we said we were going to do it another time or like further down the line or something, but I'm in the zone right now to plan a wedding. I've been looking it up online, I've been doing some research, uh, I've got a little list of things which we can talk about now and sort of figure out, maybe pencil in some ideas. Nothing has to be set in stone, obviously, but I think it's the perfect time for it right now, right? Cool. All right, fantastic. Um, let's not think about the budget really right now. Let's put that, we'll think, we'll, we'll think about that another time. Right now, let's just like focus on what we want for our wedding. Um, and then we can try and fit it into the budget once we've got everything sorted. Cool, all right, fantastic. All right, fantastic, cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> um, so, f firstly, do we want like a spring wedding, a summer wedding, autumn, wind, autumn, cool. Because I did deliberately pause on autumn there so that you like, Jump in with autumn, cool. All right, yeah, autumn's great for me too. I love it. I've always liked the color scheme. You know, like those northeastern United States states, um, like Maine and New Hampshire and stuff. I've always loved the colors of their autumn. Like we don't really get those colors here, but like I've always loved, like you know, the golden sort of orange and red and the the mesh of the bride. It's all like very romantic. I've always loved it. I thought we could sort of incorporate that theme into our wedding that sort of aesthetic yeah I'm not I'm not saying we have like a destination wedding or anything um, I think that's tricky um, I mean, we can talk about having a destination wedding for sure but I was thinking maybe we have like a local wedding be easier for our friends and family to come and cool yeah all right fantastic glad you agree um, what I thought we could also do is to you know incorporate that sort of autumnal theme that those states have is, you know, we, we could bring in a load of leaves and have them coloured, you know, gold and orange and red and brown and stuff and uh, sort of strew them throughout. I was thinking an outdoor wedding as well because that way it's easier for the theme to sort of work out. I have given it a bit of thought, not going to lie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so an outdoor wedding, I thought we could have those leaves thrown about and have sort of a colour scheme through the wedding maybe. I don't know. That one's a bit, yeah. I don't know, we'll talk about that, we'll talk about that. So that could be fun, an outdoor wedding as well. Obviously weather dependent, that's the only thing we need to think about is the weather. Cool. Also this way, if it's like an autumn themed wedding, we could have it in any season. You, st you still want to have an autumn, that's fine. Maybe like late summer kind of thing. Yeah, because that way like the weather is still, it's like, we've, it's still kind of nice as well. Yeah, alright, cool. It's like a, a late summer wedding, because the nights will still be long as well. You know, like the, the really magical nights of summer where they just they 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 start late, but they keep they they last forever. You know, so that could be fun. All right, fantastic. All right, cool. Well, that's we'll pencil that in, put that down. Lovely. Next up, I was thinking we need to think about like a photographer or a videographer or something. Do we want that at this wedding? Like a I mean, right, they, they are expensive, sure. And everyone's got phones these days as well. So are we, are, do we need to stage photos or... Okay, sure. Well, I mean, what we could do, my mum has, my mum's a photographer, as you know, and, well, she's got this, this great camera and things. So all we could do is, um, like, what we could do is, you know, stage the photos, you know, um, friends and family and us in our in our get-ups, our nice wedding, you know, outfits, and, um, yeah, just sort of stand and take the photos and things, but at the same time, I had this idea that maybe we could give everyone a disposable camera, right, and they just take photos, like, because I feel like candid photos are always so much more, they always have so much more in them, like, so much more personality, right, yeah, 
And um, so anyway, so we can get these disposable cameras, give everyone a disposable camera, and they take photos throughout the ceremony and the reception. And then afterwards, like when everyone leaves, they give us the camera back and we get the films developed and choose our favorite photos and sort of make like a collage or something. Yeah, I don't know, it could be fun. And everyone's got phones as well, so they can just take photos on their phones and like, you know, send them to us and we'll put them in a Dropbox folder and look through them and choose our favorites again. I, yeah, I, I thought it was cool. That's, you know, <laughs> pretty good idea. Yeah, the only problem, yeah, that's, that is the thing, right. So the disposable cameras, obviously, there's the environmental factor there. Like, I don't want to just throw away a ton of disposable cameras because, right, so what I thought we could do with, the, dis with the, the used cameras is at the end of it, we sort of create something out of it, like an arts and crafts kind of project. Right, cool. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun, like, also, like, anytime we look at it, we'd think, oh, yeah, that's from our wedding, like, I don't know, we could make anything. I don't know, I haven't got any ideas yet, but like, you find there's going to be a ton of disposable cameras left over, so. Cool. All right, fantastic. And a videographer, like, I think watching it sitting down on, like, a lazy Sunday afternoon years from now, it'd be nice to just sort of sit down and watch our wedding video. So, like, yeah, we could, we could get someone to video the entire, I think that could be fun. Let's focus on hiring a videographer rather than a photographer because right cool okay yes so we have the disposable cameras for photos the phones my mum's gonna take some photos and we'll hire a videographer for the video and we'll pay for editing too I, I don't really I, okay cool yep why not awesome alright so yeah um, we need an efficient efficient no idea about that Literally not a clue. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get some, I don't know. Let, let, let's put that with the budget. I don't really know what we can think about there. All right. Um, with catering, uh, there's a lot to think about. Obviously, everyone's got different diets. So we need a, a vegan option, a vegetarian, um, meat option, obviously, um, gluten-free. All that stuff, dairy free, we need to think about. Um, no, we could choose foods that work. Like, I I eat these really cool vegetarian burgers. Um, they're made from like soy. Um, and I, I don't think anyone would be able to tell the difference between these burgers and chicken burgers. 100%. These patties, burgers, patties, you know, I call them. Yeah. They're really good. I mean, you could always have like a beef and lamb option as well. Um, but for us, like, I don't know, well, for me at least, like, we'd have those vegetarian chicken things, and cool. And obviously the gluten-free option for the celiacs, and whatnot, the dairy-free for the lactose intolerant, or people who just choose to live by those diets. Yeah, I think probably spend the most on catering. I feel like food's really important, a big party, and drinks, obviously, very important. Open bar, necessary, not even good. Cool. Um, yeah. And I have all sorts of drinks, lemon lime bitters, beer, ginger beer, um, water, cokes, sprites, juice, eat it all, you know. All right, fantastic. Yes. All right, cool. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this a lot. All right, cool. And you, know, you can get those, like, pop-up pubs. You've seen them? Like, you, yeah, those, like, portable pub things. So that could be fun. Um, I don't know how much they cost, but... We could always make one, just like make a bar and put it in the center of a field or something. Venue's another thing we need to think about. Um, where are we going to have it? <laughs> like naturally, yeah, we're thinking outside would be great, like an outside wedding. Um, do we hire like a place or do we do we use a garden or a paddock or a paddock could be fun. Yeah, we could use someone's paddock for sure. Cool. All right. That yeah, that makes sense. Maybe like a nice with some trees and stuff where people can go and, and you know, just do stuff that people do in trees hang out, chill all that stuff cool yeah um, where's somewhere like that uh, somewhere in the hills maybe like we'd obviously need flat land as well but I like hills I think hills are quite magical um, yeah let's pause on that one put that with the rest I like that idea let's just scout around for somewhere that's sort of suits something like that cool 
we'd also need somewhere which is quite easy to access because we need to bring everything there and take it away. Um, we need to hire, if we're doing it outside and sort of mildly remote, we need to think about toilets, um, bins, naturally. I don't want to leave any mess there. Like, that's always a big qualm of mine. Um, we need to make sure people put their rubbish away. Toilets. Uh, I suffered yet. Yeah, that's quite simple to organise. Um, catering, naturally. What else do we have to think about? Entertainment. Yeah, I I have no idea. Like we could have a magician. That could be fun. Some guy going around and. Do you remember that years ago I used to um, be a waiter at like events and things. Yeah. So when I was doing that, um, oftentimes I like these houses I would do, like these pool parties I would work at, um, there would be not bartenders, but there would also be like magicians floating around just like doing tricks and things, um, there'd always be music, there was this really lovely, this girl with a really lovely voice, and um, she would do some really cool covers, she would like Valerie, and you know, uh, Sex on Fire, stuff like that, okay, not your, okay, fine, um, Valerie, I mean, Valerie, great song, love it. The Zootons version, or Amy Winehouse version, or don't really mind, doesn't matter. Cool. Um, I've been listening to a lot of John Mayer recently. Let's try and book him. <laughs> Kidding. Um, yeah, John Mayer, I'm loving him at the moment. A lot of his songs are great. Um, New Light, it was a fantastic tune. Who Says, Body is a Wonderland. Body, Body is a Wonderland is very much a first dance kind of song, I feel. Yeah. Um, so we always just get like a, a local band or something. Yeah, there's some great ones. I saw one a couple Christmases ago and they did this fantastic cover of um, Killing in the Name of. Like, not traditionally a wedding song, but it's a song which everyone can just let loose to. Um, I'm sure they can play like, you know, slower songs and, you know, slow dances and things. But also, I feel like we shouldn't shy away from the party aspect of this wedding. Where you've got like getting in the name of and bang, just absolute bobs, man. Absolute bobs. You know, just like proper tunes and. Cool. Alright. A, f- a first dance. You, I, yes, I mentioned it in passing, but the idea of, of doing a first dance, even now, months before we potentially were to do one, is filling me with a lot of nerves and, and, and dread. Um, you you want to do one? Okay. That's fine. I could, yeah. Fine. Sure. Whatever. Totally cool with it. I'll practice. I can't dance. As I said, Chandler Bing right here. Just throwing the. I don't know what I am. So, okay. Let's do that then. Cool. I'll practice. Do you want to do the first dance to your body as a wonderland? Or another song? Or. That's a great song. Yes. Okay, cool. L is far away. Lovely song. Okay, well, let's just make a short list of songs we could do our first dance to. There's a few. It doesn't even have to be like a slow one. We could do like a really like a big upbeat, like you know, um, Teenage Dirtbag. Always let's do it. All star. Maybe not. Okay. Point. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Um, what else could we do? Uh, there's heaps of great songs. Heaps. Mr. Brightside. Okay. Um, nine to five. Great song. Dun, 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 nine to five. Yeah. I mean, let's make a short list later on. We'll just sit down and do that. Let's, that's another thing. That's That needs an entire day dedicated to choosing that song. All right, cool. Um, outfits. What we're going to wear on the day. I don't care personally. I'm happy to wear nothing. Although that might make some people uncomfortable. So let's also think about that. I could just wear a blazer or something. I mean, just a t-shirt. I don't know. What do we wear when we met? Like, that could be a cool idea. Like we wear the same stuff we met like on our first date or when we met or like, I don't know. That's, that's, that could be fun, you know? And it also adds to something kind of special. Do you remember what you were wearing? Let's say first date, because I remember what I was wearing on our first date. Yeah. I was wearing, uh, I was, what, a 
burgundy chinos, um, tan boots, a black t-shirt and a black jacket. Yeah, that's pretty standard for me. <laughs> well, it was back then. You were wearing jeans, tan boots as well. A sort of light flannel kind of top. Yeah, I was kind of like, I remember it quite well actually. Yeah, it was, it was very nice. It, was a good, it looked great on you. Cool. All right. Good, 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 <sighs> What about... So, then obviously, inevitably, there are going to be people coming from out of town. Camping? Is camp... No, I don't know. No one wants to camp on an event like this. Like, obviously, camping is a lot of fun, but people are going to be dressed up nice and... Uh, you know, people are going to want to take off makeup or shower or, um, you know, go to each other's rooms. And I think we should think about that. Maybe we could look at hiring, like, hotel rooms or motel rooms or something like... Oh, yeah, something like that I think could be fun. I don't want to billet anyone. Well, like, I don't know. Yeah, we can incorporate, like, a... I don't know. Maybe... How about this? So there's this cabin renting company my friend runs and you rent a cabin. You can have it for a weekend, a night, a week, and it's any length of time you want. And you can put beds in there and it's got um, we have shower facilities as well. Okay. So that could work really well. We just sort of dot them around. And then that way in the morning everyone comes back out and it's kind of like we're camping but we've also slept really well. And Yeah. Okay. That's, that'll be fun the morning after as well everyone gets back together and we could even continue the party maybe like keep everything going for two or three days I don't know put that out there who knows <laughs> yeah I don't know what to think about it at the time with invites are we going to do the classic like post in? yeah we kind of have to I mean we'll make a Facebook event too just like for people who don't check their mail or people whose address we haven't got but I also think we should do the snail mail kind of invites for like wedding invitations like the only reason mail exists anymore that and drugs but uh and amazon i suppose and ebay oh yeah it's e-commerce it's kind of a big thing but i guess drones are too, i don't know yeah so let's do that um do you want to do cordially invited rsvp by a date yes yeah, it's something like that all right, we can make it ourselves too. Get some card. That'd be nice. You know, a couple of days we just do an after do a weekend making those. That could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of this, a lot of the fun's gonna be just getting together and just doing all this stuff with you. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, are we gonna do a honeymoon? Do you want to talk about the honeymoon? Honeymoon. 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 Maybe. That's, that can go with the budget. I I like Bora Bora, but that is that's a dream. Yeah, that Four Seasons Hotel in Bora Bora looks really cool. Um, but they could also just do like a hiking trip or nothing special. It doesn't need to be special. Yeah, I mean it'd be just a nice holiday. But I don't mind not having a honeymoon. I don't know. You want a honeymoon? That's fine. I want I I want a honeymoon. Obviously, it'd be a lot of it'd be perfect, but. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, like, insane. Maybe the Swiss Alps. That could be great. No, don't, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's put that with the other stuff for so. Um, transportation. Yeah, I have no idea. Just cars, carpool. Do we need... Don't need a limo or anything. Um, quad bikes. That could be sick. Nah. Maybe not. Quad bikes. Segways. Maybe not. Um, I don't know Helicopter There's so many things We can talk about With transportation <sighs> Flowers I guess I think you meant You meant to have flowers At a wedding aren't you I don't really know Shall we get flowers I don't know much About flowers Yeah What kind of flowers Orchids Are they at flowers Whenever 
I see the word orchid, I always read it as orchard before correcting myself in my head. Yeah, I have to silhouette. I used to say that was silhouette. Silhouette, I used to say. <laughs> Lingerie, lingerie. That's just, I was an idiot child. And it's, it's sort of stayed with me in my, in my later years. As it age. <laughs> yeah. Alright. What about cake? Are we doing, I, we need a cake, like a big one, a big cake. Like a really huge, massive cake with us on the top. And like there's little figurines made of like, I don't know, candy or something. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's, yes, big, big cake. What kind of cake do you want? I like just vanilla sponge with frosting. Okay, like, not like a rainbow cake or anything, because they're brilliant, they're tasty. Or like a lemon cake. I like lemon cakes. Yeah, not fruit cake. Nah, let's not do a fruit cake. Fruit cake though. Just one request. I hate marzipan. Can we just stay away from marzipan, please? I don't understand it. I don't know why it exists. I don't know what its taste is. I just know I don't like it. Is it almonds? Someone said almonds once. It tastes nothing like almonds. It's like too. It's like almost fermented. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Cool, no marzipan, thank you very much. It's just a weird... I'll eat it, I'll, I don't, I'll, I'll eat marzipan. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not going to eat marzipan. But, I don't... I I don't like it. I don't, I don't think I feel great about marzipan. I just don't like it, but I'll eat it. It's a weird, it's a weird relationship. I think it's... Yeah. Um, cool. We're not... Okay, cool. I think that's everything I had in my head to uh, think about. We could probably do another one. Let's do another. Let's plan this again later. Um, in a month or two, maybe. Because I've still got ideas. But I just wanted to run through like some of the most important stuff, maybe, with you. Not like important, but like you know, some of the stuff that's been floating around my head recently about the wedding. Cool. Well, yeah, that's good. And obviously we've got all this stuff over here which we need to sort out. I'll write, I'll write another list and we'll go through it in a month or so. Yeah, you good for that? Cool. I'm really looking forward to this wedding. It's going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to marrying you, obviously. That's a great outcome of this wedding. But also it's going to be a fun wedding. I mean, if it wasn't a fun wedding, yeah, it has to be fun. It's, it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Um... Let's, yes. All right, cool.